What's up guys, Steven Duxter. So a lot of people have asked me, what is my opinion on zero dollar commissions on interactive broker and E-Trade? So those two things are the biggest brokers in the industry. Here, I'm gonna give you some opinions about it. It's gonna be very interesting. Before getting to the topic, I'm giving now a two week birthday sales. I typically don't give sales. So uh, if you are interested in my guide or interested how to really trade in the stock market and learn the basics and stuff, I'll be putting the discount link for the trading guide. So make sure to check it out and let's get into today's topic. So number one things I think about zero dollar commissions is a lot of people are thinking about, okay, well, it's free to go into the trading world and I can just place whatever trade I want without having any type of commissions. It's going to cause a lot of confusions as well is because people think like that, but actually it's not. So first, people will trade a lot more than before because there's zero commissions. They can test whatever strategy they want and it will cause a higher ECM fees. That means there's still a little bit of fees with trading, but it's not about actual commissions. So you will still have to pay a little bit of money to overall commissions. Number two, in penny stock area specifically, so typically penny stock are really, really cheap. And the way that I experienced in trading world is when I trade penny stocks, which is sub pennies, and I usually don't trade that. I, right now I don't really trade it anymore. But when I experienced it, when I'm trading 80 cent stocks or 50 cent stock, I tend to trade a lot of shares than before. It's because, uh, let's say, well, I'm put a $50,000 as my position. And uh, if the stock is about, let's say $5, then I only need 10,000 shares. If I trade back and forth, let's say it's a buy and sell. So I trade about 20,000 shares in total. Now let's follow with 50 cent stocks. Now right now, it's because if I have a $50,000 position and I have 50 cents as a stock price, which means I need 100,000 shares to buy and sell. Now, by the end of the day, I would need to buy, sell, overall it will be 200,000 shares. That's causing a really chunk out of profit if I made a profit of this stock. If I, if I lose on this specific stocks, then I will be charging more. Let's say I lose 4,000 on the position, on the, on the ticker, and then add another 4,000 into the ticker, which is 8,000 in total loss, including commissions. Without that much commissions, then we're getting rid of commission concerns. Then a lot of people is going to get into the paying stocks. And let's dive into statistics again. General traders loses within two years and 90% or 80% traders are losing. So people will like you to trade more when the policy is generally opened for people in October 8th. October 9th, which will cause a lot more volume pouring into the market, which means in my strategy wise, it will cause more back orders. Back orders means when they are holding the stock and they would never want to come out is because if they decide to come out of the stock, they will be taking like 70%, 80% of their position loss. For retail traders, I don't think it's really healthy because if you have a free, for retail traders, I don't think it's very healthy. It's because if the retail people that wants to get into the stock market and they think, oh, there's no commissions anymore, I would like you to trade more. And your penny stock area will cause more backholders, it cause more volume, that means they're likely to lose money and they will bring better odds for short sellers, experienced short sellers. Next thing we're gonna talk about algo trading system. Algos is people who are writing a program and they put it into the stock market and they're basically generating trades for them. And that's a big, that's a big, uh, that's a big, uh, actually, that's a really big news for them is because they can reduce all the commissions out of the way because when people are making millions and millions of trades per day, they're paying a lot of commissions. Well, you know, if they're, pay they're paying average lower commissions compared to other retail traders because typically they have a relationship with the brokerage where they have a better way to find a better brokerage. So in this way, they completely don't pay any more commissions anymore. So with algo trading system, same thing. Uh, a lot of people are losing money because they can't fight in the computer. Algo trading system are basically completely unemotional. So overall, I think the stock market will pretty much stay the same, stay usual. I think there will be a large surge of volume after this policy came out for a short period amount of time. And I think a lot of retail traders are going to lose money if you don't do their research. If you are eager to get in the stock market and you look at there's a zero commission, do not get in before you do your research. And another thing I wanna talk about, last thing is the Robinhood. Now, a lot of people recommend, oh, Robinhood starting free. It's actually not free. Because of the Robinhood trading stock liquidity and they are basically taking a little bit sense on your buy, a little bit since I ask, which means let's say you bought at $1, they will probably execute, uh, you bought at 1.01, 1.02. 1 
then when you are on sell at two and it will execute the trade as 1.99 or 1.98 they're taking your profits by making us the robin hood app for free so i think that's really really bad for your entry and exit is because when you have a bigger position that means they're taking a bigger chunk of the profits so that's why when i have a bigger position or bigger size i like to choose other brokerage that basically charge me a certain amount of commissions uh, that doesn't really take my profits from my original positions. So that's my opinion about E-Trade, Intelligent Broker, and Robinhood. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to slash. So make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below of uh, your questions about these videos or have any other questions about other brokerage. And also leave a topic of what I want to do for the next YouTube video. Thank you very much. I will see you guys next time.